Hello guys, this is Stella Roxana, Stella Camera Girl, and uh, in this uh, short video I just wanted to show you the things that I bought yesterday uh, for monitoring. So basically these are uh, yeah, headphones, right now I'm even monitoring the sound, and uh, these are from Panasonic. As you can see, it's a Panasonic RPHT161 stereo headphones. The sound is very good. These are very cheap. Uh, I bought them for around $15. And uh, it's 267 lays I paid, so it's around $15. So they are very, uh, uh, how to say, are very comfy uh, but um, yesterday uh, I listened to the music and um, like after maybe one hour uh, you get a little bit uh, tired uh, and uh, it's not that you have headaches from uh, from the from them uh, but however you cannot wear them for longer time uh, yeah because it, it creates some pressure on your head yeah but it it is really depend of the person <laughs> so I, I cannot wear them for long time because I get tired however the sound is very good for this price and these are Panasonic it's not something like you know and uh, it has a very good bass and um, overall the sound is very good I would not say perfect, but it's very very good for this price. I don't know if there are some concurrents with this price. So basically it doesn't have any microphones see it, uh, inside. You can use them only to listen. You cannot use them to speak to your phone or to stream games and um, you know with the microphone. Uh, it's purely for listening to music and I bought them uh, not for this, I bought them especially for monitoring the sound from the audio recorder. And the sound right now is from the audio recorder. Uh, yesterday I <laughs> read a lot uh, of that uh, manual, however it is more to go <laughs> and uh, more to learn because I'm just at the beginning so I don't know uh, much how to set correctly the sound and how to make it sound really good however it is much better from the beginning mm, than, than it was in the beginning and then uh, <laughs> looks a little bit weird like this but mm, anyways I will put them here better and uh, I know that the sound is going really good there <laughs> already <laughs> so basically um, it worth the money I would say uh, if you need to do uh, sound monitoring or if you need to do mm, to, to listen to the music whatever to listen something ASMR music they're good um, just this uh, I wanted to say um, yeah <laughs> uh, this is for today and I also uh, made yesterday a video about um, the lenses that I uh, I got the, the adapter in yesterday and I have the lenses uh, to review the, the world Soviet lenses that I told you I did some uh, some shots and I have to edit that uh, videos and uh, make a video for you um, but uh, before that I just want to make few more shots outside because I did only inside and it's like it's only inside, you know, you have to do more, um, explore more this lens in order to be able to understand how it performs. I would say in advance that it's a good lens, uh, both of them, um, the Industar 61 LD uh, and the Jupiter 8 um, 2.0 point, two point um, the aperture. Um, Jupiter 8 is uh, a 50 millimeter and the other one is 55 millimeter and on my camera on this one 
um, right now I'm filming with the Sony uh, A51, I guess it is. It's the handy cam is good one. And then um, this is my camera. So basically, on this camera, um, that lens has uh, become 100 millimeters, and the other one is 110 millimeters. And um, it is specific, you know, you have to know how to work with that lenses. And uh, even with the stabilization, uh, you cannot use it from your hands because it's too long, the, um, the focal length. So you have to use it from your tripod only. Um, and for photos, even for videos, it's good for from the tripod. But it's a specific focal length for me. I'm not using it uh, mostly. Uh, I bought this just to see how it works and maybe to use it from some specific works, uh, specific videos for my YouTube, for my film even. Um, however, um, it's not an everyday lens. An everyday lens is this one. I can't stress enough to tell you how good this lens is and how how proud I am that I bought I bought it um, the Zuiko 14 to 42 14 to 42 yes it's versatile it, it is with autofocus and it works pretty well because I figured it out how to manage the settings on the autofocus to, to work it uh, well on me so you have just to take a picture of yourself inside the profile of this camera so uh, it has the face recognition autofocus and um, yeah you take the picture and the, the camera will know that it is you so when you place yourself in the in front of the camera you will be most of the time on autofocus if you do for some other people it is on good luck let's say <laughs> so it's really depending on yeah but i figured it out and it works for me uh, so far it works works good and works better on 4k than on um, full hd which is uh, the contrary what other guys on youtube said uh, on and they showed on the test because on their test it works better on full hd on my tests all the tests i have done um, and I'm shooting every day myself and I can tell you 4k it works perfectly like almost perfectly in my cases Yeah, even in a uh, bad light. It works really well um, Yeah, however um, um, Yeah, this this is uh, it's about this um, today's video <laughs> and um, I guess see you next time with the um, review, not review, but with the test from that lenses. Have a good day and um, see you next time. Bye bye.